Okay, here I'm trying to set well partition and RVD in a single project and try to blend some mega scan. Yeah, let's uh, see how it works. Edit uh, project settings. I'm gonna search whether we have RVD support enabled. I think it should be runtime which virtual, I guess. Uh, yep, it's enabled, so we can continue. That's good. Uh, all right, let's start a new level, I guess. File name level. Uh, should be empty open world. So that's how I like to start with. Okay, and I'm gonna save this as the file save current level as content new well, partition. Okay, all right. And since you're using open land, we have something called sun sky. So we can simply add a new sun setup. Uh, of course, you can use UDS or something else. Uh, so here you can see I can go through like, yeah, it's pretty simple stuff. Mm, right, let's create a new landscape. All right. Uh, um, height map. Do we have height map? Uh, I don't think so. Uh, uh, yeah, downloads. Let me see. I guess I have something over here. Yep. All right. Let me just do this. Okay. All right. So I I need uh, here we have the world partition grid style set something like four. So I have only four. Uh, yeah, sixteen uh, proxies. Uh, because I don't know. It's up to you. <laughs> okay. Material. Um. Underscore, my underscore open land uh, default yeah it's uh, very important to set it over here otherwise you have to select all the proxies and uh, set it it's not I mean it's, there's no issue with that but you have to do that but it's good to do that import it's so actually it's a 2k uh, landscape there's no need to use uh, old partition for this is compile some shaders uh, it will take some time i'm on my laptop um uh, yeah otherwise it's quite faster and i'm gonna go to my paint layer and i'm gonna assign the first uh, layer info so then i have something over here all right it's good I'm gonna go to my select mode. Yep. All right. Let's see what we have here. All right. This is my landscape. Good, 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 good. Uh, then I'm gonna add RVT support. So it saves up some. They're still preparing some shaders, compiling shaders, so that's why it's take a little bit of time. Oh, let's wait until that. All right, let's get some room. I'm gonna go to world partition. Let's do some world partition. Uh, and let's add RVD. Go to my uh, content, open land, uh, RVD widgets, widget. We have the, this, uh, I guess, this, yeah, RVD widget. I'm gonna run this. Landscape, yeah, I'm selected. Ground actor, it's fine. And I'm gonna select my height map and set my uh, virtual texture as already height material to material. All right. And then I'm gonna go to my landscape and I'm gonna open my landscape material instance. So I'm gonna test whether we have RVT support or not. I'm gonna search for RVT. And here we have something called RVT cache. I'm gonna select that. All right. Okay, shaders are done. I'm gonna save this. Yeah. Now we can see we have RPT. So that's why it looks a little bit different on the mountain range because it's not like now we have RPT. I can show you how to shader complexity. Where it is optimization view mode shader complexity. 
Yeah, now as you can see, everything is green. Otherwise, it, it's ready to show somewhere, somewhere over here. Right, RVD is work. Oh, no, 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 no. So, like, so it seems like RVD is working. Uh, I'm not sure why it's not working with your uh, version. Because this is how you can set it. This is to set it up. Alright, uh, uh, okay. Simple. And then uh, let's try to blend some mega scan uh, rocks. Let me see whether we have a mega scan. Uh, oh no, I don't have any mega scan uh, asset. Uh, go to the bridge. Uh, let's see whether we have something over here. So, uh, yeah, I think I need to log in. Sign in. All right. Uh, I think now it should show me some stuff over here because I know. Uh, yeah. Okay. Anyway, uh, let me get a simple asset, 3D asset, simple rock. I think I'll go with something as simple because I I had not much time over here. I'm gonna go to the Northern Night one uh, mid quality. Can I select that? Nah, I guess I don't. I can't. Yeah, medium quality. This one. I'm gonna download it. Uh, because I need to do it faster. That's the only reason. Okay, I'm gonna try it over here. Okay, I'm gonna edit it. Uh, should be available in my 3D asset. So here, not that one. Not uh, this one. Well, uh, yep. Uh, let's put it over here. It's quite small. Anyway, I'm gonna increase the size a little bit. Yep. Uh, right. Yeah, I think it's good. And also, let me uh, find a flat area to blend this with. So I'm a little bit lazy. I'm gonna like uh, do something sculpting platform. Yeah, you should you should not do this. Like, I'm a little bit hurried over here. All right, and I'm gonna select this and yeah, go up and hit end. Right. Right, uh, okay, it's good. I'm gonna put it a little bit down like this. Maybe uh, I let me try to play this game. All right, control one, I'm gonna lock it over here. Right, then I'm gonna open the uh, material instance up here. Okay, element one. Let me open the material. All right. And here I'm gonna set uh, open land uh, use RBT or something like that. Uh, yep, use uh, open land RBT tools. There are a couple of ways to do that. Uh, this is the current one. Uh, I mean, I mean, like all the stuff works, so doesn't matter. If you you, you might be following some old tutorial, uh, we might be use something other one uh, RBT open land. Uh, blend with attributes. It's it's the same thing, but this is something unified version. Okay. Right, and then I'm going to the level, and I'm gonna yeah. I need the material instance. This one, and here we have RVT uh, blending. I'm gonna enable that. Uh, default settings are just fine. All right. Now you can see start to blend. Now you can see it's, uh, it tries to blend into my rock, and I now I can place. So this is a rock that has a lot of like. So you can see here we have this. Go down. I can see it. now these parts getting uh like yeah, this one, and also I can uh, paint some sand over here so you can clearly see what's going on. 
pen section let me find my sand layer let me do it uh, close this sand yep and uh, yeah, it's a big uh, brush yeah Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, now you can see it's try to like select. So it's try to blend like this. Yep. Okay, now it's working, right? Of course, you can uh, go to the settings and tweak this. Also, what I try to do is uh, here I'm using the RBD cache mode. You don't have to do that. Uh, you can uh, go to the material instance, type RBD cache. It still work, uh, but I think. Uh, it's better to use in this way without the RVD cache. Uh, the reason is uh, in UE5, uh, the texture rendering is um, like it's quite good. Like uh, some temporal, I mean like some upscaling solution is going on. Textures are looking really good uh, without RVD. And if you use RVD, uh, you, you, you don't get that benefit. So I always uh, suggest you to like turn, turn that up RVD cache. Uh, but anyway, if you're trying to blend this and it will try to use RVD stuff and yeah yeah i think it works um this is the workflow that i use with us uh, like starting with from scratch uh try to see what's wrong with your setup just compare with this